which I suppose um, go into a, another massive file like this with, I suppose, a minimum amount of injuries, it's, it's a big relief to the management. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's fantastic. The guys have come through the weekend well. Um, there's no one from the game at the weekend that's going to be out at this stage. So uh, it's just a case of uh, trying to get everyone back in today. Uh, we've had a light, a light, very light session. Uh, guys are prepare, starting to prepare now for the for, for this weekend. Uh, Isaac is doing well. Uh, we're not sure at this stage whether he'll be fit yet, but uh, we're hoping that he'll make it for, for Sunday. Um, Richie, uh, Brad Thorne has obviously made a massive impact this year and obviously you're just focusing on the pro 12 but you know, would you love to have him around again next season? Obviously there's contracts and everything else going on but I mean, he's, made, he's made such an impact hasn't he? Yeah he's been fantastic and uh, he's really added to the team for us um, in, in this sort of close to the Heineken Cup. He was brought in for this sort of three month period and uh, he's, he's, it's paid off for us so uh, you know there is, there is stuff going on in the background regarding uh, Regarding next year and who will who will fill that position and uh, you know I don't know it could be possible that Brad might end up being back at a, at a later stage but he's he's contracted in Japan so at this stage we'll be we'll be saying goodbye to him after after the after this game on Sunday you know. But obviously you'd love to have him back. Yeah well like he's been a great influence on the, on the squad he's uh, fitted in really well. So definitely from a Leicester point of view we we we'd, we'd be delighted to see him back.